This video is an introduction to ASP uh, using Web Matrix. You can download Web Matrix for free uh, from ASP.net, the website. I'm going to create an empty site. I can change the name of the site if I want to, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to leave it as the default. And I'm going to go to look at my files. And you're going to see up at the top in the ribbon that you can create a new file. If you just click on the icon, it brings up all the file types. And I'm going to make a regular HTML file. And this is just like making an HTML file in Notepad or Notepad++. But there's some additions like these tool text tips that uh, give you information about some of the tags. Also, if you type an open tag, like a P tag here, it'll show you, it'll automatically make you the end tag. And it'll show you some of the other tags that are available to you at that location. And then you can just type your text or whatever you want in here, and then you'll be able to run it. And you can hit the, the arrow to show you the different browsers you want to run it in that you have installed. Or you, if you just hit the run icon, it's going to run in the default uh, web browser that's set up with Windows. So here it is, and it's just a regular HTML page. The cool thing about this is we're running an actual web server. We're running a little version of IIS on our host computer now. So we're able to run client-side and server-side scripting, which is very cool. And so to demonstrate that, let's make an ASP page. And if you have no idea what ASP code looks like, let's go to our favorite site, W3Schools, and they have a section for learning ASP. And we'll just borrow some code there. We can spend some time to go through the full tutorial and learn some of the ins and outs of it just to make sure that our web server is working properly and our new development tool, Web Matrix, is working. Let's paste a little bit of code in here. We run it and we see that, in fact, it is working. And we could view source there and we would see just the generated HTML that gets created on the server side from IIS. All right, so that was a, kind of a boring example, but there are many other examples. You can go through this list and see all the different choices you have and make sure you have something working and then modify it. So here's one that's a little bit more to it. And yes, we could just run it right here in the Triad Editor, but when you uh, get it into Web Matrix, you can add to it and customize it and change it all you want to. This is another one that's interesting to view source on. You see it just it generates the HTML on the server and it serves up the HTML to the client. All right, let's make a, one more new type of page. Let's do ASP.NET type. And there's a choice for VB and C Sharp. Uh, I think you might be more familiar with VB. But again, if you don't know what ASP.NET looks like in either language, you go to W3Schools and just find some examples. Lots of other examples at other websites, uh, including ASP.NET itself. So here's some examples. Spend a little bit of time with these. Uh, Try to figure out what they do and how they work as much as you want to, based on your level of experience and understanding. But just to make sure something's working, uh, let's grab all this code. I'm going to do Control A here. And it had all of our tags, so I'm going to select all of it here and paste over it. And this is going to allow us to do a lot of things that regular HTML can. That's the whole point of these scripting languages, is they have added features and functionality beyond what you can do with plain HTML. You can do actual processing with them. You can do form validation. You can do inputs. You can do calculations. All sorts of cool stuff, and WebMatrix makes it very easy to do.